our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality or incorruptibility to light through the gospel. Now many religions profess to tell people how to live, but only the gospel shows people how to die. I remember years ago hearing the story of a brother who was the postmaster on the Isle of Man. And he had uh, survived the wars, but uh, had been severely damaged in a bomb that had been sent through the mail by some militant group. As he lay weakening in his home, a neighbor came to visit him. And the Christian said to the neighbor, um, I, I know you're a busy man and I don't expect you to come and sit by my bedside very often, but when you hear that I'm dying, I wonder if you would do me the honor of coming and sitting by my bed and watching me die. Because he said, I'd like you to see how a Christian dies. He said, you know, for other people, it's a sunset. It's the end of their day. But for a Christian, it's really a sunrise. We're leaving this sad night of sin in the world, and we're entering into the everlasting day of God's presence. And I'd like you to come and watch how a Christian died. Well, it was such a, a powerful statement to this man. He, he went home. He hadn't read the Bible since he was a little boy, but he got out his Bible and he began to read. And several days later, he came back and, and told the Christian that he'd found the Lord Jesus as his Savior. But eventually, the Christian knew he was going home. He he asked his new brother in the Lord if he would take the funeral. And uh, this man who only knew the high church uh, liturgy said, I, I, just, I couldn't do that. After what I know now, he said, I couldn't stand there at the grave and, and say earth to earth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes. And the Christian said, no, it isn't that, is it? It's earth to glory and it's dust to immortality and it's beauty for ashes in the beginning when Adam sinned death stole everything away from the human race everything that was dear to us but when the Lord Jesus came he found a way to make death his death, the source of absolutely every eternal blessing. All the blessings of God flow to us through the death of Christ. The apostle was thrilled to accentuate in these words that we have read together that Christ has abolished death 